Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for tuning in into another cosplay video. Today what I gotta do, what we're gonna do is review that Red Hood uh, x Coaster helmet, mask, or however you want to put it into words. So this is actually my first cosplay mask. Uh, I think I bought it in 2000. Was it 17? 17? 16. 2016. Well, yeah, in 2016, I bought it. It's the first ever cosplay-related item that I purchased. And I bought it from x -Coser because it was the fastest thing I could get on Amazon. And it only took a couple of days. I went to my first convention with it. Uh, looking back, good old days, right? Uh, so I want to talk about it now that I'm a little more into buying cosplay. I'm doing a little more related stuff like talking about it a little more experience that I have not much but I want to really put it out there so this is uh, this is a rubbery material it bends so it doesn't really hold its shape as you can see and I feel it's like a rubbery kind of urethane I guess it is problem with that is that it will now hold its own shape after a while like you put it in a box it will become deformed so you really got to be careful where you put it make sure you put something inside like a head or something so it won't lose its shape it's not being pressed against something because then it will look messed up ah uh, look look another thing it, the paint is not the best of it it came with a little paint there I actually asked for it without the mesh. It was a big mistake. I should have get the mesh. And now I'm going to put it. But I don't know if I should even spend money into it. Because after a while, now that I'm into cosplay, I'm not a really big fan of it. Because, first of all, it's just like this. Right, guys? Uh, sound doesn't come out. It's a little uncomfortable because when you move, the mask moves. So it hits your eyes, it doesn't stay. It doesn't stay where it's supposed to stay. Uh, breathing, it doesn't have any ventilations, just your eyes and the bottom of it. But because of that, sometimes you're gonna be breathing and it gets all moist and uncomfortable in there. It doesn't bring any padding. So after a while, like it gets a little uncomfortable with that. Because you're moving your head, it moves up and down or to the sides. It's not like adjusting. Then when you take it off, these rough edges kind of like um, hurt when you take it and all, all that. So I'm not really talking bad about it. It's just what I feel uncomfortable about. about this mask nowadays, even though it was my first one, it's a very affordable mask. It was like $75. So if you really want a cosplay prop top of the line, it's gonna cost you around 300, 350, depends. They even make it with lights now. But this is a good startup, very affordable if you don't wanna spend too much and see how you go into your first cosplay. You're not gonna break it. But if you buy like a high end, it might be some kind of resin that it breaks easy, scratch easy. And this one, the paint is like that. So you have nothing to worry about. So it's a low budget, but it's still good. Or if you want to buy it for your kids for Halloween, it's still expensive, but it's still like you we can throw it down and it will last. It can play with it and you don't have to worry about it. And uh, it has a good shape. As long as you make sure nothing is pressing against it, it will last a long time. You got like three years, it's still like brand new. But now that I'm into more cosplay, high-end cosplay, it, it, it's, it's still a little bit more work that I got to do into it. So I need to add padding, mesh, and I was thinking about putting two holes or something so I could breathe or I'll have something there that it, will, it won't bother me and put something around it so it won't even hurt around my neck. But overall, it's very good, very affordable in that sense. Um, I want you guys to see how it looks. It's 
so I don't know how the sounds comes out of it, but If you're doing posters, it still be good, but I really regret not getting the match. And to be my first cosplay ever, it was cheaper than what a real Red Hood match will cost. So I'm pretty glad with it. And, um, oh, this is an X-Coaster. It's more affordable. That's all my thoughts about it. It's not heavy. I feel like when I went to Comic-Con the first year, I was wearing it for a long time. It didn't bother my head with weight or anything, but uh, bother the sides when I move. So just want to let you know about that. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a good one. Peace. Goodbye, guys. Red Hood. Out.